What are the other options we have here? And this tends to be pretty good when uh, our partner's leg is pretty far back. And like, we feel like we're unable to like, you know, uh, get to that leg because I can throw saddle position right here. So when I do this, this is definitely not my favorite option just because in general, I don't like saddle as much as 50-50. But basically I'm gonna throw this hook to his far leg and then I'm gonna pull my right knee around the corner like this. So I have the hook on the far leg and I have my right hook behind that uh, hamstring as well. Now to take him down, we have a few ways we can do this. Uh, you definitely have to be careful of the back take in this position. If I allow my hips to drop, he's gonna stack my hips and start to initiate his like wedging style back takes. So you do really have to be careful of this. But so here I basically hook. Now look how my hips are pretty high when I'm doing this. I'm really hooking this hamstring. Now to take him over, I'm gonna pull my knees to my chest. And I'm gonna initiate an inversion movement like this. And once we get here, I lock a triangle. So now I have a, his knee in good alignment. When he goes to try to pull his knee out or stack me, I just flare my hips. And I use this to put his hips on the mat and we end up in the saddle position right here. So just be careful of your partner's knee when you're doing this. If you're not like so good at getting your hips up, you might like crash into the side of the knee, you could potentially hurt them. So just be careful. So this leg's far back. I'm gonna throw this leg in. See my hips are up, I want my shoulder the whole time in this case. Now I'm hooking the far leg, I'm flaring my knee. Some of you guys are gonna do something like this, where your hips are down. See I'm flaring my knees up to the ceiling. Now I do like a rocking motion, I pull my knees to my chest like this. If I can get the far leg, excellent. That's kind of what I, I want, but even if not, I lock a triangle right here and I flare my knees to put his hips on the ground. Now we're in the saddle position. I can hunt the heel, hunt the second leg, look to come on top. All right. So this is like almost like a reverse telehiva inversion. Like imagine like I was just doing reverse telehiva and I went to saddle, but instead of inverting first, I'm getting to this kind of position. This like near side K guard, which gives me my options. Now we go to saddle. My leg is hooking the far butt cheek. My knees are pointing up. I'm hooking this near hamstring. I could lock my legs here. I prefer this grip to help me pull myself in and then switch to the triangle and then put his hips down the back. 